queuing may be the British way, but this line was remarkable, with up to an eight-hour wait to spend just a few moments next to the Queen's casket in Westminster Hall. It's been really nice, though, because everybody's been friendly and everybody's here for the same reason, do you know what I mean? Outside the royal estate in Sandringham, the Prince and Princess of Wales thanked mourners. The walk yesterday was challenging. William reportedly told one woman that walking behind the Queen's casket on Wednesday was challenging and brought back memories of his mother, Diana, and her funeral 25 years ago. After an emotionally draining week, King Charles took a break from public appearances today. Since his mother's death, he's been constantly in the public eye, dealing with grief and also the intense scrutiny that comes with his new role. I speak to you today with feelings of profound sorrow. King Charles delivered a moving address That's to the alive. nation. He personally thanked crowds in Scotland and Northern Ireland, and he took part in a vigil next to his mother's coffin, all of which hints at a more transparent, visible monarch, says royal expert Robert Hardman. His accession council being televised, I thought that was very, very uh, interesting and very indicative. Uh, we've, we've suddenly started seeing more audiences with ministers, with opposition leaders. But transparency also carries risks. <laughs> Such as a minor meltdown when his pen leaked. I mean, every, every monarch is different. They do things differently. I, I, I think he'll be 75 next year. We can't really retrain Prince Charles. We don't need to. He's the longest serving heir to the throne we've ever had. He will do it his way. There's also been vigorous discussion here about if it's fair for King Charles to not pay inheritance taxes when ordinary Britons have to. But in this royal friendly lineup, that wasn't front of mind. You know, we own the royal family. They are ours. Yeah. You know, and whatever they've got, the castles, the wealth and so on, it's not theirs, not in reality. Right. And look at the, the amount of money that they bring into our country as well. This long vigil will consume London all weekend, right up until the Queen's funeral on Monday. So, Chris, we learned more tonight about the King's role in the lead-up to Monday. It's going to be a diplomatic role, Adrian. Buckingham Palace said tonight that uh, Charles will host uh, a gathering reception of the world's leaders at the palace on the Sunday just before the funeral. Now, world leaders, almost every world leader has received an invite to this. We don't know who's coming yet, but we also know that there are going to be many royals from across Europe who are going to be coming too. So this is a chance for Charles to make personal introductions really to the world for the first time as king. All right, Chris Brown, thank you. Thank you.